Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got a fun video. It's not Sensi related today, but it is a wax related video. This is the Canadian Vendor Wax Round Robin. There are a group of us Canadian YouTubers who are doing a round robin to just kind of share wax around. It's like a sisterhood of the traveling wax box type situation. Um, so it was packed up and sent off and then it's just gone through, it's going through a circuit of us. So today is my turn. The box came today. The last person to have it was Brandy. Um, so I'll link back, back all the previous videos and the previous stops of this box below. But today is my leg. So how it works is basically the box is here. I will sniff through all of it, take what I want to keep and put it aside, put the rest back in. And then for every item I take out, I'll put some items back in as well. So it's constantly changing its stock as people take things out and add new things. So I had a lot of fun watching Brandy um, do her. So it was a big surprise when it did come my way afterwards. I was like, that is so exciting. So super fun. And then at the end, we will figure out who this is going to next. I won't tell you because it needs to be a surprise, but yes. So we'll just kind of jump in. I've opened the box. I've not sniffed in it or looked into it or anything like that. So the first thing I'm grabbing here is Harper James O Snap. So I have tried Harper James wax before. I do enjoy it. This is gingerbread, coffee bean, and sweet pastries, which sounds very good. And I do like Harper James gingerbread. I think I have some of her gingerbread, actually. This is very good. And this is a nice, soft, smoothed coffee note with a nice, very nice gingerbread scent. I really like this. This is going to go in my maybe pile. I'm going to start a maybe pile because this one I do really enjoy, but I have similar things to this, so I may pass it on to someone else who hasn't tried her yet. Next we have Banana Suntan Lotion. This is from the Bathing Garden. And it's just kind of a little shape here. So let's give that a, a sniff. I've never tried the Bathing Garden. Okay, very banana-y. Um, I get more banana than suntan lotion in this one. I'm not a big banana person myself. So very nice, so it smells like a good solid medium, but I will pass that along to someone who enjoys summer scents more than I do. Next we have Cookie Cutter from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Caramel Pretzels Cookies Sweet Lavender Noel's Fluffy something or other and Birthday Cake. So there's that. That is a very nice classic Sassy Girl Bakery scent. Very classic Sassy Girl. I get the caramel. I do get the like cookie note here. There is a little bit of pretzel. I do get Birthday Cake. I do not get lavender. Um, go lay down, Ben. Go chill. Yeah, this is very nice. This is gonna go in my maybe, maybe pile as well. Um, I do have a lot of Sassy Girl and I like her wax a lot, but if it comes down to it, I may pass this along just because I do have so much Sassy Girl. Next we have Roasted Pineapples from Sassy Girl, a whole brittle. This one is juicy pineapple, toasted vanilla, caramelized sugar blended together to create the gooey sweetness of freshly toasted marshmallows. I love a good pineapple scent. This one might be, might be a keeper. Oh, that's good. That's very good. It smells like grilled pineapple. Like when you like grill pineapple slices on the barbecue, it's got that bit of caramelization to it. This smells like that. That one I'm gonna put in my yes pile for now because that is very, very good. Next up we have Sassy Girl Dynamite Diva. And this one is one of my favorites from Sassy Girl. This is Strawberry Creamsicle and Sweet Lavender. I love this brittle. This one is when I first got a sample of from my friend Becky and I ended up buying two more brittles of it because I love it. This is such a good scent. Oh, I love it. This one is so, so good. Like I said, I do have two brittles of this right now, um, full ones. So I'm, I'm gonna pass this along, but this is a top notch scent. Whoever ends up getting this is, is lucky. You could, whoever gets this, Seriously, this one's a winner, keep this one. Um, I would absolutely keep it if I didn't have a whole bunch of it, but I do have a whole bunch of it. So this one is a absolute winner. Cannot recommend this one enough. It's a fantastic performer. Um, this one goes for days in the bedroom. So that is Dynamite Diva, love that one. So I'm gonna put that in my no pile, but not because I don't like it, because I have tons of it. Next up, we have another brittle of Sassy Girl. This is Abel's Mint Cookies. This one is sugar cookies with a creamy peppermint and vanilla and a bittersweet chocolate. This one I also have a brittle of, of my own, um, and I do like this one. Yeah, this one's so good. This is just York peppermint patties to me. Um, just straight up like York peppermint patties. It's like mint chocolate, like a darker chocolate. Very, very delicious. 
um, nice and minty, good for this time of year. I will pass on this one just because I do have one of these already. Next up we have Rose Girls Pistachio. So there is that one. That is a nice straight up pistachio scent. I get almost a little bit of almond extract in there as well, which I sometimes do from pistachio scents. That one's very good. I may be tempted to keep this because it does smell nice and strong, but I think I'm gonna pass it along because I know there are a few pistachio fans coming up in the queue here. So I'll pass this one on to one of them because I know one of them's gonna love it. So there we go. That one is very good, but there are people who love pistachio more than me in this, in this swap. Next up, we have Teddy Bee's Oasis. This one is Beach Treats, Brown Sugar and Fig, and Tahitian Vanilla. I know Brandy really liked this one, but I think she also had some of this one already. I'm excited for this one. I do love Sassy Girl. This one's very good. So I do get the Beach Treats right off the bat, but there's more here. I definitely get a lot of vanilla, like a lot more vanilla than is even in Beach Treats. This one I think is gonna stay in my yes pile. So this one I'm gonna hang on to. Sorry, we were having like tons of cuts right now because my dog is just going haywire. He's got the zoomies right now. I'm trying to settle him down so I can do this, but this one is amazing. This is beach treats, a little bit of fig, and I love fig, and just that nice kind of perfumed vanilla. I really like this. This one's staying in my yes pile. That one is a winner. I'm not passing that one up. So that is the second addition to my yes pile. Next up, we have Sassy Girl Aroma Hawaiian Smoothie in a sample. I'm excited to smell this. Um, I haven't smelled this one. That's very good. This kind of reminds me of something that would have been in like the mango collection, um, the Sensibrations Mangoes from Scentsy last year. Kind of reminds me of maybe something like uh, Mango Margarita or something like Go Go Mango, something in there. Very, very nice. But I will pass this along because although I do really like it, I think with this one I will pass it along just because I do have quite a few summer scents and I don't melt a lot of summer scents. But this is very, very good. Like very good. So that is Hawaiian Smoothie. I think if I ordered from Sassy Girl again in the future, I would probably request this. That is really, really nice. It smells very fruity, very tropical. I get a lot of pineapple in that one. It's really nice. Next up, we have Cereal Marshmallow Bar Cookie Coma from Up the Creek Scents. I have never tried Up the Creek Scents before. Um, so let's smell this. That's good. That's a nice like cereal cookie like Fruit Loops cookie type scent. Very, very nice. So that's a good one. It smells like about a medium strength. Um, so there's that. I I do really like this, but I do have a couple cereal blends like this in my collection already. So I will pass on this um, because I do have something similar. And these cereal blends are something I've never smelled since you do. So for the people in this um, swap who haven't used Vendor Wax a whole ton, um, I do want them to try the Fruit Loops blend as well. So there's that. So I'll pass that along. Next we have Scentsy Bar of Rainbows and Butterflies. This is a good one. Um, this one is nice. This one smells like different things on different days to me. This one is typically like a peaches and cream type scent to my nose, but sometimes I get a little bit of like a soft sweet pine tree from it. And tonight I am getting a bit of a soft sweet pine tree from that. It's very, very nice. I do have a couple bars of this. This one is retired from Scentsy, so it's nice that it was included. Um, but I do have a couple bars of this. I like this for my daughter's room sometimes. Um, but I'll pass on this to someone who hasn't tried it before. So there's that one. Next we have another pistachio one. So this is Up the Creek Scents again. This is toasted blueberry pistachios and I can smell this through the bag. I can smell the blueberry and it's a good blueberry. Let me smell it. Yeah, that's good. That's like a blueberry cookie with just a hint of pistachio. That's really nice. I like that. It's kind of like a similar blueberry to the one Scentsy uses in Blueberry Cheesecake. I like that. That's going to go in my maybe pile. I like that one. Next we have Strawberry Halloween Treats from Lavender Speckles Scents. I have never tried Lavender Speckles. I've wanted to for quite a while now, so I'm excited to smell this. This is Strawberry Pound Cake blended with Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Caramel Swirl, and Sweet Candy Corn. So I'm excited for that. I like Strawberry Pound Cake. I like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This should be a winner for me. That's really good. That's that's really good. Um, I do get strawberry pound cake. I get mostly pumpkin pecan waffles, but with a nice smooth creaminess of strawberry pound cake. And I do think there's a lot more like vanilla caramel notes in there as well. 
That's very good. I think I'm going to hang on to that one. That's going to go in my yes pile. Next we have Razzy Zucchini. This one is from that Smell Good shop, which I do enjoy. This is raspberry, zucchini bread, and coconut, which sounds like a very odd combination, but I'm excited to smell it. Okay, I get the zucchini bread mostly. A wee tiny bit of raspberry. It's a nice raspberry. And the coconut is there too. This is odd, but really good. I do like that. I just, I don't love zucchini bread quite enough to keep this one. But this one is very unique. And for anyone who hasn't tried zucchini bread before, this one is a good one. Um, so yeah, I'd be tempted by this one if I wasn't, if I was a huge fan of zucchini bread, but I'm just not a big zucchini person. So there's that one. This one I'm so excited to smell. This is a Rose Girls one. This is Every Night is Girls Night from her Barbie collection, I'm guessing, because that's a line from the Barbie movie. I loved the Barbie movie. I took my daughter to it in the summertime. We enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, and then we often have, um, I only have the one child, so I have a daughter. And when my husband goes out, we call it girls night. Even if it's just us hanging out home on a weeknight, we call it girls night if it's just the two of us. So every night is girls night is kind of cute. I just like that. So summer scoop, which is a Bath and Body Works type, strawberry and vanilla, and then raspberry meringue and vanilla macarons. That sounds absolutely amazing. Like something myself and my daughter would love. And it can be for every night is girls night. Yep, that's, that's perfect. Yep. This is a nice, like, strawberry raspberry parfait type scent. Kind of reminds me a little bit of strawberry swirl, but I prefer this actually. The raspberry's got a bit of a tartness. I'm not getting, like, vanilla macaron so much, but I am getting, like, a strawberry raspberry vanilla ice cream smell. It's wonderful. This one is going straight to my yes pile. I have to. This one is just, like... If I pick anything out of this box that I've seen so far, it's this one. So there is that into my yes pile. Next we have another Rose Girls one. This is Haunted Library. This one is suede, rosewood, and leather with old library books and fireplace. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to keep this or not, but regardless, I'm just really excited to smell this um, because I like those kind of like book and like woodsy like library type scents. I want to smell more of those, so I'm excited to smell this. Oh. Yeah, this smells like Harry Potter. Like if Harry, like I feel like Harry Potter bars should smell like this. This is woodsy and leathery and suede and old, but also papery, but like old paper. That's really good. Yeah, there's almost like a wee tiny bit of, maybe it's the rosewood or the suede, but there's almost like a little bit of like a perfuminess to here, or maybe even like a coloniness, but not in an overt way, more of just like a leather or suede that's been worn by somebody who is wearing perfume or cologne, and then it eventually soaked into the suede or the leather. That's what I'm getting here, and this is really good, like really good. This doesn't smell like my house though. I would wear this in a fragrance. Um, but it doesn't smell like my house. I feel like if you had like an older, like Victorian style home, it would have to smell like this. This would be perfect for it. But I love this. This is going to go in my maybe pile. I think I'll probably pass this along because this is so fun to smell. Um, I might just pass this along so everyone can smell it, but I'm going to put it on my maybe pile for now. Next we have Addicted to Love, Buttermint and Coconut. So this one is from that Smell Good shop as well. This one sounds like it should be good. My hands are all red because I was using a pen to paint a face on a jack-o'-lantern because we carved pumpkins tonight. It's Halloween tomorrow, so happy Halloween if you're watching this tomorrow. This is a coconut buttermint scent. It's kind of similar to like Mint to be Merry from Scentsy, but with coconut. Um, I'm not a big coconut person, but I do like this. Um, but I'll stick with Mint to be Merry right now, so I'll pass this one along. We have a big bag here. Whoa. What? Okay, this is a chopped up candle, I think. So this is blueberry pie from Bath and Body Works in a bag and with a label that someone's put on here, but it's a chopped candle. So that's going to be fun. And that is one thing, Bath and Body Works candles do chop really well and they do really well in wax warmers. Oh, the crust in this one is perfect. That is very good. I really like that. I really like that. 
you get a lot of crust. I would say it's like 60% crust to like a nice blueberry streusel. You get a bit of a nice blueberry pie filling, but with a lot of streusel as well almost. Um, I really like that. It's like crusty and bakery and like gooey brown sugary streusel topping. That's really good. That's going in my maybe pile. That is very, very good. And that would be a nice all year round bakery as well. Next we have Harper James Peppermint Twist. This is peppermint and sugar and rich vanilla. This should be good. I do love mint scents and I do like Harper James. So let's give this a smell. That's a really nice candy cane scent. Wow. This is one of the more authentic peppermint candy cane smells I've smelled. Like peppermint is peppermint in general, but this one smells like a candy cane. I don't know how to explain it. It smells like those like the cellophane wrapped candy canes. So that's really good. Also going to go in my maybe pile. It would go in my yes pile, but it smells to be on the softer side. And I do have a lot of mint scents in my collection, but that's going to go in my maybe because that one's really, really good. Next, we have another lavender and speckles. <clears throat> this one is summer boardwalk pretzel. This is sweet candy apples, caramel corn, touches of taffy, hints of ozone, and salty pretzels. This one sounds right up my alley. This one sounds good. I'm excited to smell this. Oh my gosh. I get the green apple first. And then I'm getting pretzel. Caramel. Like the slightest hint of ozone, but not very much. I'm not getting taffy either. That's really good though. Now what to do with summer boardwalk pretzels? Cause I love this one and I kind of want to put it in my yes pile, but I don't know if there's more lavender speckles in here. So I already have a lavender spe speckles in my, less, in my yes pile. So I don't want to take the last lavender speckles if this is the last one. So I'll put this in my maybe pile. If there are more lavender and speckles scents in this box, I will probably keep this. Ah, next one I pulled out is a lavender and speckles one. So I'll probably just move that summer boardwalk pretzel into my yes pile. Here we have Macintosh apple. Um, so this one I think is just Macintosh apple. That's a very nice apple. Yeah, nice, clean, fresh apple scent, nicely balanced. Um, I'm going to pass that one along so I can keep boardwalk pretzels, but that's very nice. Next, we have lemon coconut chiffon. This is a great bar. I have this in my Scentsy Club. This is a good one. Um, yeah. This one is like lemon coconut pound cake. It's delicious. I'm going to pass that along to someone who doesn't have it in their club because I do have an endless supply of it now. Um, but I'm passing that along because that one's a good, good, good bar. Next, we have from Rose Girls strawberry buttercream funnel cake. That sounds really, really good. I'm excited to smell this. Ooh, that's a good buttercream. That's like a very gently spiced buttercream almost, probably because it's funnel cake. And I mean very gentle spice. That's really good. Like really, really good. Hmm. Also going to the maybe pile. That's very good. But again, I'm not sure how much other Rose Girls is in here. I did put a few things back already, but I'm, we'll see. Then from Zape, we have pistachio cream soda. I'm probably going to pass on this because I do have Zape already in my collection and I'm not a big pistachio person, but I know for a fact, again, that there are people in the upcoming list that do love pistachio, so I'll probably pass this along, but I do want to smell it. So this is fizzy cream soda and pistachio cookie bits. That is nice. I get more cream soda than pistachio. It's not overly fizzy though. It kind of reminds me of one I had from Zape last year called Butterbeer. And that one was really good. So that is very nice. I will pass that one along. Then we have Kringle Candle. I've never tried Kringle Candle. I've always been curious. This one is Over the Rainbow. So there's that. Oh, that's nice. It's very fresh. Kind of reminds me of another scent that I really like called from Scentsy. Um, Up Adventure is out there. Um, the license bar. This reminds me a lot of Up Adventures out there. That one has like apple and melon and like laundry, like sun-dried cotton notes. This is kind of similar to that. It's very clean, very bright, kind of like a fruity, fresh laundry scent. 
really, really pretty, but I will pass it along because I do have a lot of my up bar. Next up we have Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow with Candy Corn and Cola from Rose Girls. That sounds good and it's super cute too, it looks like fudge. Let's get that cola. I've never, I don't think I've smelled cola in a wax before. I love it. Love. We need cola in a wax. Why don't we have cola in a wax? This smells like those gummy candy cola bottle things. That's what that smells like. That's really good. I don't really get the pumpkin marshmallow or the candy corn. I'm getting the cola and it's really, really yummy. I am keeping that. That one is sticking around here. I love that. Next up, we have a bar here of Find Your Happy Showered in Flowers. This is such a good bar. This one's beautiful. Oh, this is like the sweetest, prettiest floral. And you know, I'm not like a huge floral person myself, but this is like one of the best florals I've ever smelled, honestly. This is fantastic. This was a limited edition Scentsy bar a while ago. Not available now, hasn't been in some time. This one's beautiful. I actually am gonna go check my spreadsheet and see how many of this I have. And if it's less than three, I might keep this. We will see. That's gonna go in my maybe pile. I This is one of my absolute favorites and I do not have this bar in my club. So I'm gonna check my spreadsheet and see how much of this I do have. And if it's not very much, I may keep this. So that's gonna go in my maybe pile. And I just pulled a piece of paper out of here. Kind of see what this, that is the name of somebody. So I'm gonna call this my draw because I kind of just pulled it out of the box. So this is my draw. I know who I'm sending to next right now. So that'll be fun. Yay, okay. Set that aside there. Next we have L3 Waxy Wonders. She doesn't even go here, which I think is a Mean Girls line. I can't remember. Um, vanilla Sandalwood Smoked Vanilla and today is October 3rd. So this should be like a vanilla fall type scent. Oh, that's really nice. That is like a very, very gourmand vanilla sandalwood, heavy on the vanilla, and it's a foodie vanilla with a hint of very beautiful sandalwood. That's nice. I think I would like to keep this one myself. Um, okay, yeah, my guest pile is not that big right now, so I will, I will keep this. Okay, creme de menthe from Harper James. This one sounds nice. I do love mint scents. So creme de menthe. Oh, that's good. That's a nice balance between a standard peppermint and a very green mint. There is a lot of green to this one as well. That's really nice. This would be a perfect St. Patrick's Day melt. Um, I do have a lot of mint in my collection and I think if I had to pick between mints, I would probably go with this peppermint twist one instead. So I'm going to pass this one along, but that's a really good one. I'm very unique as far as mint scents go. Next we have Teddy Bee's Sweetheart Cookies. This is pink sugar. Ooh, I do love pink sugar. Frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet milk. This one sounds really good. Oh, that one is nice, like really nice, but I'm getting a lot of the milk. Oh, but it's so pretty. That is like a lot of like pink sugar, sugar cookie. Oh, that's nice. This one would be an instant yes for me, but I'm not sure if there's any more Teddy Bees in here. And I do have Teddy Bees of my own orders. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and I'm gonna see if there's more Teddy Bees in here to pass along. And I'm also gonna check my own stash to see if I have Teddy Bees that I'm willing to pass along to replace with this one. So that's gonna go in my maybe pile because if there's more teddy bees in here, I'm more likely to keep that one. And if I have stuff in my current stash that I'm willing to trade it for of teddy bees so that more people can try teddy bees, then I'll, I'll keep that one. But otherwise I won't. Ooh, more lavender and speckles. This one is toasted lavender, marshmallows, and Palo Santo. I haven't smelled her Palo Santo, but I've heard good things. Let's see. Oh, that's very nice. That's really pretty. That's a beautiful bedroom scent. That's a nice soft Palo Santo. Does have a nice, like, slight lavender edge, but not a whole lot. And nice creamy marshmallow. That's really good. Very, very nice. I have taken a couple lavender speckles things already, so I will pass this along, but this is a beautiful blend for whoever gets it. That is lovely. 
Next we have Country Cabin, which is a Canadian company from the looks of it. This is Citrus Wreath. So there's that. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a nice gentle citrus with, or a gentle pine tree scent, sorry. Like a gentle pine with like a bit of citrus. That's really, really nice. I'm not a big pine tree scent person myself. So while this is a very beautiful one, I will pass this along because it'll probably have a better home somewhere else. Next we have Zape Pumpkin Queen. <clears throat> this one is pumpkin donuts, marshmallow filling, and sugar and spice. This one sounds lovely. And I do love Zape, and I haven't ordered from there this year yet, so. Oh, that's good. That is good. That is like a nice pumpkin cinnamon sugar, like donut smell. Yeah. I'm mostly getting like pumpkin cinnamon sugar donuts and like marshmallow, which is kind of what that is. That one is probably going in my yes pile. I'm going to tentatively put it in my yes pile. And we'll go through what's in my piles at the end here. Um, next here we have, oh, a Scentsy Bar, Pacific Sandalwood. Someone, was this brandy? Someone was very generous to part with a bar of Pacific Sandalwood. This is such a great scent. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. This would be an instant keep for me if I didn't have a stockpile of this already. This is such a hard bar to get your hands on and I know so many people want to try this. So I will pass this along to someone else who wants to try it. Um, this is gorgeous. It is the most beautiful, creamy, smooth vanilla sandalwood scent ever, ever. Um, I do have a stockpile because I have a very sweet friend in New Zealand who sends it to me, my friend Sarah. Um, so I have a few bars, so I will pass this along. This one's beautiful. Yes, whoever gets this one, score to you. Yay. So there's that one. Next we have Rose Girls American Cream Lush Type, Campfire Marshmallows, and Rice Krispie Treats. So that'll be fun. I do like the American Cream Lush scent, and yeah, that's a good one. The conditioner doesn't agree with my hair, but... Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I love that. It's American Cream. Um, campfire Marshmallows. I don't really get marshmallow, but I get a little tiny bit of smokiness. And the Rice Krispie Treats, it's just very sweet. I don't know. I'm mostly getting the American cream and it works very well with that smoky note actually. That one's gonna be a keeper for me. So that one's going in my yes pile. Next we have, oh, this is interesting. Up the Creek Scents, Blackberry Jam Pistachio Zucchini. So there's that one. Let's smell this. I do love blackberry vendor scents. Oh, that's really nice. This is kind of like your typical blackberry vendor scent. It's lovely. It does have a zucchini bread edge to it, um, and I'm not really smelling the pistachio. It's really, really nice. I will pass it along because I do have a lot of blackberry vendor scents, so I will pass this along to someone who hasn't tried them before. That one is nice, though. Next, we have Knowles Farm Scents. I've never tried this brand before. This one is Sangria's on the Beach, so I'm excited to smell a new brand here. This is sparkling citrus, apple and peach and berries, and red currant and vanilla. And this is a sample size packet. So it should be a fruity type scent, I'm thinking. Oh, that's very pretty. Very summery, very fruity, very saturated. I'm getting, I think, a lot of the currant um, and the berries is what I'm getting a lot of. And the citrus is almost coming across a tiny bit perfumey to my nose. And the peach is also just a wee bit perfumey. It's very, very pretty. This would make a very nice bedroom scent, and it's a perfect amount for a bedroom melt as well. Um, very, very nice. Um, I think I will pass this along though. Um, I'm kind of like full into like holiday melting right now, so I'll pass this along to someone else. Next, we have another Lavenders and Speckles. We have Strawberry Lemon Zest Pie. There's that. This one is strawberry pound cake with some extra lemon zest blended with pie crust and vanilla waffle cones. So that sounds very, very good. That's so good. I love it. That is perfect. This kind of reminds me of an even better version of Scentsy's Strawberry Lemon Cake from last March. This is perfect. It's a little bit zingier, a little bit stronger. Um, delicious. That I want to put in my yes pile. I have given up and passed along a few other Lavender Speckles items. 
but I also have two lavender speckles items in my yes pile already. So I don't want to hog the lavender speckles. I think I'm going to put this in my maybe pile for now. We'll come back to it. Next we have from Teddy V's I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats. This one is Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Boardwalk Marshmallow, and Beach Treats, which is a Beach Nights Bath and Body Works dupe. So this one, super good, super good straight up beach treats to my nose. Yeah, it's kind of like a perfumey vanilla campfire type smell. Very little smoke. This is more marshmallow vanilla. Really, really good. I do have a lot of Beach Nights blends in my collection already, and I did grab Oasis already from Teddy Bee's in this box, which also had beach treats in it. So I've already kept this. So I'm going to pass this one along. So there's that. Very, very good one. Next, we have So Long Summer from Harper James. This one is very, very pretty. So it is strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and sugar cookies. So... Let's give it a sniff. That also sounds very good. Kind of sounds similar to something else I grabbed already. The strawberry Halloween treats from Lavender Speckles. This is very similar to that. I think the Lavender Speckles version was heavier on the pumpkin pecan waffles. And this one has more of the strawberry pound cake. I want to smell those side by side. These two, they have very similar notes. This one is definitely more pumpkin pecan waffle. And this one is more strawberry pound cake. And I think as I'm smelling them. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep so long summer and pass along strawberry Halloween treats. So this is going from my yes pile to my pass along pile. And this is going into my yes pile. I'm trying to keep things like fair as best I can. And then what are you? This is Scoopable Wax Melt, Salted Caramel Coffee, Salted Caramel Blended with Coffee and Pie Crust. That sounds really good. And this is kind of like sitting, <laughs> it's like sitting up at the top of the jar. So let's just give this a sniff. Oh my. That is coffee. Like good, good coffee. I do get a little bit of salted caramel. Not really getting the pie crust, I don't think. But definitely a nice strong coffee. That's a maybe one for me. That's really good. I do love a good coffee and there's so few of them. So there's that one. Next we have Melting Memories. This is Copa, Copacabana. And this one, the owner of the brand, Veronica, actually reached out to me. And I'm going to be getting some of her goodies here soon. So I'm going to pass this one along because I do have some of her goodies coming my way to review anyways. So I'll pass this along. But I do want to smell it because I'm so curious. And her wax is beautiful. There's that. Let's smell it. She says this smells like um, the Rio de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro um, original Boom Boom Cream. She's right. Okay, this is the like exact smell of it. So the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream has many dupes. There are lots of vendors and different oils and stuff that are supposed to dupe it. And there's a scent that Scentsy has in the spring and summer catalog called Kukui and Coconut that is similar. It's reminiscent. It's kind of a similar tone. That one is more floral, though. It's more floral than the original Sol de Janeiro version. The Sol de Janeiro version has a very heavy, creamy, pistachio cream scent to it that most of the, most of the dupe blends don't have. But this one nails it. This is exactly like the body cream. This is perfection. Um, this would be going in my yes pile immediately if I didn't already have some coming like in the next day or two. And I don't think I have the scent coming, but I, I love it. And I'm going to pass this along because like I said, this is, I think this is the last one of this brand in this box because um, it's been popular with the other people that have smelled them too. So I think this is the last one of this brand. I would be keeping this absolutely based on sniff. But I'm going to pass it along <clears throat> because it is the last of this brand in the box. So it's going to be passed along, but I hate to even do it because it's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh, that is a winner. That's a winner. Okay, <clears throat> if you like the Sol de Janeiro, my friend Veronica over at Melting Memories has Copa Cabana, and it's the same. So there's that one. If you're looking for a Sol de Janeiro dupe. Next we have Sassy Girl Aroma Recipe. This one is 
Blackberry Beach Night Marshmallow with Sugar Cookie. So another blackberry one, so that's good. Oh, that's very good. It's like a nice blackberry, the bla and again, vendor blackberry, not Scentsy blackberry. Vendor blackberry with beach nights, it's really, really good. That is a winner scent for whoever gets it. I will pass it along just because I have a lot of Sassy Girl and a lot of beach nights. That's a very, very good one though. Like very good. Next we have another Lavender Speckles. This is Very Berry Cornbread. So strawberry pound cake, blueberry muffins, sweet raspberry punch, blended with honey cornbread. I've never smelled cornbread in a scent, so this is exciting for me. Let's see. Oh, it's nice. The honey here is nice. It kind of reminds me of one I had from uh, Teddy Bee's. But I'm also getting a nice zesty raspberry here and the strawberry pound cake and the blueberry. This is really nice. This one screams Easter to me. Like this is like the perfect Easter scent. It's got nice bright berries, but also that nice kind of like smooth, like herbal honey. It's very like rustic, but very real, if that makes sense. It's like a rustic, real berry dessert scent. I really like this. Hmm. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile just to see if I'm willing to shuffle things around to keep this. I'm not going to keep another lavender and speckles unless I put another one back, but I'm going to put this in my maybe pile to see if I, if I can meddle around and play here at the end. Then we have toasted marshmallow. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This bar is nice and juicy and delicious. Oh, that's good. So this one, I do have a couple bars of this, but I hoard them like my life depends on it and never melt them because I can't get more. I don't have this in my club. I don't know if it's ever coming back. So on one hand, I really want to keep it. <laughs> and Brandy did say she put some stuff in this box she thought I would like, and I suspect this might be one of those. Um, but I also want to pass it along because I do have a couple bars at my house here that I have, but not very much. Here's how I look at it. I have a lot of like rare, hard to find stuff in my Scentsy stash too. So if I do keep this, I can replace it with something equally like hard to find. So that might be what I do. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this, is what I'm gonna do. But I will find something good to replace it with. And then the last item in the box is in a little bag here. Let me just take it out. So this is very pretty. This is Fantasy Wax Melts, which is a brand I've never heard of. This is Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins. This is Sweet Coconut and Vanilla Frosting which sounds nice and it's very pretty. It's like sparkly on top. Well, that's really good. That's really good. Again, kind of along the lines of something like Mint to be Merry, but with coconut and less mint, if any mint. This is really good. This is a nice strong vanilla frosting scent. It seems to be quite a strong performer or a strong, like strong cold sniff at least. That's good. I really like that. I'm gonna pass it along just because I do have a lot of minty or vanilla frosting type scents on me right now in my stash. So I'm trying to find different things right now. So I'm gonna pass this along, but it is a very, very good one. And if it comes back around at some point, I'm, I'm taking it then. <laughs> okay, we are back. I've put the pass along things back into the box. And now we're gonna go through my yes pile. So my yes pile is L3 Waxy Wonders. She doesn't even go here. And this one was that vanilla sandalwood one I really liked. We have Oasis from Teddy Bees, which is that beach treat fig and vanilla one. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I do want that. That's really, really good. Then we have American Cream Lush Type, a little sample bag here. Yeah, I so rarely see American Cream in dupes um, in wax, so I, I do want to keep that one. That one's awesome. And then Summer Boardwalk Pretzel. This is the apple candy corn and pretzel one. Yeah, that one's very, very good. And nice for like fall time. So that's a great one. We have Zape Pumpkin Queen. This is the pumpkin cinnamon donuts one. Oh, that one's perfect. We have Scentsy Toasted Marshmallow. We have probably my favorite little snag of this entire box, which is Every Night is Girls Night. So the Summer Scoop Berry one. 
We have So Long Summer from Harper James, the Strawberry Pound Cake Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. We have Roasted Pineapples from Sassy Girl, the Grilled Pineapple one. This is more of a summer scent, but I love it. And then the very unique um, Candy Corn Cola from Rose Girls. And that is my yes pile. My maybe pile is scoopable wax melt um, salted caramel coffee with the pie crust. This is really, really good. I'm gonna pass it along though, because I do have some coffee scents that smell kind of like this in my stash right now. So I am gonna pass it along, even though it's very, very good. So that one I'm gonna put back. Whoever gets that one score. Um, Strawberry lemon zest pie. This one was so good. Yeah, that one is really, really good. I think I want that one. But do I like it better than very merry cornbread? Or very berry cornbread? You know what? I'm going with very, very cornbread because it's more unique with the cornbread scent. I love these both. These are both fantastic. I need to make an order from Lavender and Speckle Scents apparently because it seems like I'm liking a lot of their blends. So I think I'm going to have to make an order or plan an order here at some point. Um, strawberry Lemon Dust Pie. I love it. Like, love, love. We'll purchase more if I ever get the opportunity, but I'm going to pass this along because I'm really liking those scents and I've already got a couple here. Very, very cornbread. I am going to move to my yes pile. Then we have the blueberry pie chopped candle. You know what? I'm thinking I have a really good chopped candle or candle that I could chop. Oh, that is really good. You know what? Yeah. I'm thinking I do have a candle that I could chop to replace this with. That would be equally good to replace it with. So I think I'm going to keep this and pass along one of my other candles. So there's that. Toasted blueberry pistachio. You know, I think my yes pile is grown enough. I'm going to put this one back. And because I'm keeping blueberry pie, I'll put toasted blueberry pistachio back. Because again, it's a pistachio scent. There are other pistachio lovers coming up. And it's a blueberry scent and I've already kept a blueberry scent. So I'm going to put that back. Sweetheart cookies. Man. I don't know. This is really, really nice. But so is Oasis. Petty Peas is just so good across the board. That one is really good. Should I keep Oasis? I don't know. I love it. Like, love. Like, would order this. But I do have Beach Nights and I have Beach Wedding from Sassy Girl. I have a lot of Beach Treat stuff in my stash. So I think I will pass this along, actually, and just trade it. I'm going to put Oasis back in the box and I'm going to keep Sweetheart Cookies instead. I don't have as much like this with the Pink Sugar Bakery. So I think I'll keep this and put this one back. This one's fantastic. And then Haunted Library. This one is just so good. This one is so unique. That one is so good. But again, I just it doesn't smell like my house. So I love it. It's super fun to smell. I would wear this in a fragrance. But I want other people to smell this too. And yeah, I'm going to pass this along. That one's, I'm so excited that I got to smell this. This was so good. That was Haunted Library from Rose Girls. And then Cookie Cutter from Sassy Girl. This was a really nice bakery scent. I do have a lot of Sassy Girl bakery though. So do I need this? Probably not. Yeah, I do have a lot like this. It smells a lot like Doughboy Bakery. And I have a lot of Doughboy Bakery in my collection already. So I'm going to pass that one along. Find your happy. I need to go check my spreadsheet for this one. So this one, I'm not gonna, oh, that one's so good. This is like the sweetest, like prettiest springtime floral in the world. I'll check my spreadsheet when I'm done filming here. If I don't have more than a bar or two, I'm gonna keep this. If I do have more than that, I'll pass it along. And this is the maybe pile as well. This is strawberry buttercream funnel cake. This one is also really good. This is also Rose Girls. And I've got a couple Rose Girls things here already. That is really, really nice. But you know what? I'm going to pass it along. It's really good. It's very bakery. I have a lot of bakery. It's delicious, but I'm passing it along. Next, we have Oh Snap from Harper James in the maybe pile. This one is the gingerbread and coffee one. That is really good. Really good. 
I'm going to pass it along though, because I do have a decent sized yes pile here now. So I'm going to pass it along. And peppermint twist. Peppermint sugar, sugar and vanilla. I want to smell this again. This is the Harper James one. You know, I'm keeping this one. This is the most candy cane scented mint I've ever smelled. And I've been getting so many headaches lately. And I always reach for mint when I've got a headache. And so this is just kind of a more festive spin on my headache mint <laughs> for my bedroom. So that is going to be a keeper for me. I will keep that. And then the only one that's up in the air still is Find Your Happy Showered in Flowers. But again, I'll check my spreadsheet when I'm done filming. I'll probably put this back, is my thinking. So yeah, I've got a good little yes pile here. So I've got Peppermint Twist, Sweetheart Cookies, Blueberry Pie Candle, Berry Berry Cornbread, So Long Summer, Every Night is Girls Night, probably still my favorite of this entire, entire thing. Love it. Love, love. And my daughter's absolute favorite scent is strawberry, so she's going to love this too. Perfect for our girls' nights. Summer Boardwalk Pretzel. American Cream. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and Cola. She doesn't even go here. Pumpkin Queen. Roasted Pineapples and toasted marshmallow. So I got a nice little haul here of stuff to keep. So I'm gonna go through my stash after I'm finished filming here and find things to add back into this box. So, so that is what I kept. And now I have to go through my stash and through my vendor stash and find stuff to stack this box back full with. So that is my next move is to find things to put back into this box. So I am so excited with the things I got. I know I have tons of vendor wax that I can go through and refill and restock this box with. So that is what I'm going to do next. So I am super excited for all the things we got. And I just want to say thank you to all the group participants and the Round Red, Ro Red Robin participants who have already had this box, who have filled it with such great things and such a variety of scents and a variety of brands. It's been so fun to sniff through. I really, really enjoyed this. And I, I do think we're planning on doing another round of this sometime in the new year. Um, I think we're all really having fun with this. So yeah, I am very, very pleased with what we have here and what I scored. And I'm super, super excited to watch the future videos of this, of this series. So I have got my little name on the slip right here. So I will get to filling this box back up and send it back on its way. Probably not tomorrow because tomorrow's Halloween, but probably Wednesday. So I'll probably get this back on the road on Wednesday and then it can be on its way to its ne next destination. And um, yeah, so make sure you follow the people who this box is going to, to see who it ends up at next. I'll put everyone who's participating their channels in the description box below so you can follow who's got it already and who's going to get it in the future. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I've had so much fun with this. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.